I've been talking about the Tesla Semi a lot lately, and that's not only because it's an exciting new product from Tesla and a product that I'm personally excited about, but also because it's a really important product from Tesla and one that could potentially revolutionize commercial trucking. Now, we did learn a lot of new exciting details about the Semi, about the Tesla Semi at the delivery event on December 1st. However, there are still some details that remain unanswered, including the fact that it appears like the Tesla Semi, the current version of the Tesla Semi, may not actually have autopilot enabled. In this video, I'm going to talk about several features and details about the Tesla Semi that many people likely missed, including the details that I've gathered about autopilot and the Tesla Semi. I'm John, and this is Cleaner Watt. Every truck we sell will have enhanced autopilot as standard. Okay. <laughs> that the truck will automatically break. <laughs> automatically. Break. Yeah, you can read it too. Um, auto <laughs> it'll automatically break, but uh, it will actually automatically lane keep as well. So even if even if uh, even if you're in the truck and you have a medical emergency the truck will stay in lane and gradually come to a halt and put on the emergencies. If it doesn't hear a response from you, it will actually call emergency services and get an ambulance. It, it's going to take care of you. It's going to take care of other cars. It's going to take care of pedestrians. This is a massive increase in safety. When the Tesla Semi was first revealed back in 2017, Elon made it very clear that the Semi would offer enhanced autopilot as standard. But is that currently the case for the first generation of the Tesla Semi? Does the Semi currently have autopilot enabled? Arash Malek, known as at Minimal Duck on Twitter, recently shared a video on Twitter showing that the Tesla Semi has three cameras on each side mirror, three cameras on the top of the windshield, and one under the front license plate. I will make sure that I put a link to the full video, which is on the Minimal Duck YouTube channel, and I definitely recommend that you check that out. But based on this information, it's good to know that with Tesla Vision, the Semi, the Tesla Semi, should have all the hardware necessary for autopilot. However, despite having the necessary Tesla Vision hardware and a good suite of cameras, it doesn't appear like currently right now as it sits that the Tesla Semi has autopilot enabled. Yes, as we'll talk about, I believe it will be enabled in the future, but as it sits right now, that doesn't appear to be the case. One of the first reasons why I believe the Tesla Semi does not currently have autopilot enabled comes down to the settings menu that was displayed in a promotional Tesla video. Ordinarily, when you pull up the settings menu in a Tesla vehicle, like for instance in the Model 3 or the Model Y, you can see that there is a section for autopilot settings. However, in one of the promotional videos that Tesla put out for the Semi, you can see that in this settings menu, there is no such option for autopilot settings. When you couple this with the fact that at the December 1st delivery event, autopilot was not even mentioned at all, it starts to build a case that maybe the Tesla Semi currently does not have autopilot enabled. Now, beyond the lack of autopilot settings and the fact that Elon didn't mention it at the delivery event, in Tesla's promotional videos, I'm also not seeing the auto steer available icon showing at all on the screen. Ordinarily, when auto steer is available or active, you'll see a little icon um, right beside the drive selector indications. For instance, in this example, for a Model 3 or a Model Y, you can see that just above the displayed speed and right next to the drive indicator, you can see that when auto steer is enabled, this steering wheel icon lights up in blue. That same icon, when not in use, is gray, showing that it's available. If you look at this screenshot from Tesla's promotional video driving the Donner Pass with the Tesla Semi, you can see that next to the drive selector there, there is no such gray icon, at least from what we can see in this screenshot. Since the Tesla Semi is driving on a highway with clearly marked lanes, um, it should have the auto steer icon available at the very least. So it should be something that is visible on the screen. In addition, there is no autopilot indicator on the Tesla Semi steering wheel. We'll talk more about the steering wheel in just a minute, but you can see the indicators there, but you don't see an indicator for autopilot. While Tesla's other vehicles like the Model S and X, which also have the newly updated capacitance buttons, they have autopilot enabled by using the little scroll wheel. 
Um, it makes sense that the Tesla Semi would do so as well, but maybe it uses one of the side stocks, which we'll talk about in a minute. Now, I did want to point out that in the video that Tesla put up on their YouTube channel showing the Tesla Semi driving 500 miles on a single charge, there is at least the indication of a full self-driving like visualization being shown during this drive. And at around the 59 second mark, I took this screenshot and you can see there, as I've indicated with a red box, um, the Tesla Semi has a visualization that somewhat looks like Tesla's full self-driving visualization. However, notice that the line in front of the Tesla Semi is gray and not blue. And from what I can tell, I don't see any blue auto steer icon. Ordinarily with Tesla's full self-driving enabled, that line in front of the vehicle would be highlighted in blue. Or with regular autopilot enabled, there should be a blue lines beside the vehicle marking the lane. Nonetheless, despite these potential full self-driving visualizations, uh, the promotional videos that Tesla put out, as I talked about, clearly don't have autopilot settings and autopilot indications. This, of course, once again leads me to believe that the Tesla Semi currently does not have autopilot enabled. Now, just because the Tesla Semi doesn't have auto steer and autopilot, it doesn't mean that it doesn't currently have traffic aware cruise control. I do believe that it has traffic aware cruise control. As you can see in this screenshot, there is an indicator there on the far left side of the screen that says 42 max. Ordinarily with a Tesla vehicle, this icon will show you the max speed that you have your traffic aware cruise control set to. And this is the max speed that your vehicle will accelerate to when following other vehicles. Now, with that being said, I do believe that the Tesla Semi currently has advanced driver's assistance features built in because it does have all the cameras around. And I do believe that autopilot and potentially full self-driving will be enabled in the future for the Tesla Semi. But when you look at all the evidence and look at Tesla's promotional videos and you read into the fact that autopilot was not mentioned at all at the delivery event, this makes me believe that the current version does not have autopilot. There is also the question about whether uh, more cameras would be necessary for autopilot for the Tesla Semi because you do have a really long trailer and although you have a number of cameras on the side mirrors, is that enough to have complete side vision on the Tesla Semi or are extra cameras needed to be added to the actual trailer of the Tesla Semi? At the original unveiling when Elon Musk was talking about autopilot, you can see here in this visualization there was camera coverage, at least what looked to be camera coverage, uh, really far back in the vehicle, indicating from what I can tell that there are additional cameras that will be attached to the trailer of the Tesla Semi. It also appears like Tesla might be bringing out some kind of HD radar in the future. And could that be for the Tesla Semi? Of course, these are questions I don't know. Um, but did I miss something? Did I miss something about this? Is there something about autopilot that you know on the Tesla Semi that I missed? I'd love to hear from you on that. With that being said, I do want to point out several other features about the Tesla Semi that you may have missed. Once again, going back to the video that Minimal Duck shared on Twitter, at the very least, the Tesla has three cameras on each side mirror once again, three at the top of the windshield and one under the front license plate. And especially important are those side view cameras, which improve the side visibility of the semi and could help eliminate blind spots. As you can see in this image from Tesla, the Tesla semi should be able to display the side view of the semi while it's driving down the road. In addition, it looks like you should be able to see multiple angles of the Tesla Semi on this indicator at one time. As you can see in this image, it shows the split of two different angles from the side view mirror cameras. I would also love to see Tesla add some kind of clip-on or attachable uh, camera that you could add to the rear of the Semi as well and have that link up to the system because I think that would also be really helpful. Maybe that's something that exists or maybe that's something that Tesla could add in the future. Now, beyond the cameras, I want to talk just a minute about the steering wheel of the Tesla Semi. Now, as I briefly mentioned a minute ago, the Tesla Semi steering wheel does have capacitance touch buttons. On the steering wheel, there are buttons for the turn signal, headlights and high beams, your horn, windshield wipers, and also a button for the microphone, which controls the voice commands. But unlike the Model S and X, which no longer have stocks, the Tesla Semi still has stocks on either side. The stock on the right hand side apparently controls the drive mode, but as you can see there's also a stock there on the left hand side. I'm not sure exactly what that one does. 
I do find it interesting that Tesla decided to go ahead and include stocks on the semi. Um, maybe it makes a lot of sense for commercial drivers, but it looks like it's something that Tesla could have eliminated if they wanted to. In addition, the Tesla Semi has a wireless phone charger built in and it actually has space for two phones. In a promotional video that Tesla put out, when the driver puts their phone down, you can see it light up and the words charging at the top of the phone show up, indicating that these are indeed wireless charging spots. You can see that the Tesla Semi also has a nice large side tray there for miscellaneous objects and also plenty of cup holders as well. Now, one of the unique features about the inside of the Tesla Semi is the fact that the driver's seat is right there in the middle of the cabin, which I believe gives the driver a better vantage viewpoint while driving. However, if you have an additional passenger or an additional driver for the semi truck, there is a full down seat in the cabin as well. I also like the fact that the Tesla Semi cabin is tall enough to stand up in, and it also includes a very handy coat hanger as well. In addition, when it comes to exterior storage, the uh, Tesla Semi has a nice side storage compartment. And in addition, it does have a small front trunk as well. When it comes to other features like armor glass, we of course didn't learn anything about that just yet. Um, but nonetheless, even if the Tesla Semi doesn't have armor glass, it very likely has side windows that are made with laminated multi-pane acoustic safety glass for safety and for a quieter cabin. If there's an interesting feature that I missed or something that you noticed that maybe other people haven't noticed about the Tesla Semi, do mention that in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you. In addition, I do plan to do quite a bit more research on the Tesla Semi and hope to bring you more Semi content in the future. So if you're not already subscribed, you might consider subscribing. Well, thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end. I'd like to take a moment to thank the Patreon supporters who support me every month and help make this content possible. A special thank you to my performance supporters and also the other supporters listed on the screen. If you'd like to find out more about the Patreon community I've set up, I'll put a link in the video description. Thank you so much.